All of a sudden you see Johnny shirtless. We actually spent two hours in a custom lobby learning the mill map. All right, so we're gonna give you the most detailed breakdown of Virginia that you've seen yet. Predator Hunting Grounds will release new content in 2024, 2025. I gotta say, I just love the way this game looks. Dude, there's something with my brain when I play that game, I just break. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back to Fright Night Gaming. You're here with Dan and Darren. What's going on, Darren? <laughs> Ooh, curveball. Uh, hi, hello. Big news, man. Big things happen. <laughs> Dude, we got the mill map and I couldn't be more happy and more sad at the same time. Yeah, well, we'll go into it. Yeah, we're, well, let me just tell you where we're going to go. We're going to start off with some ASIM news. Oh, what could that be? <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about Predator Hunting Grounds. The game that, uh, man, that one hurt when it first came out because we were pumped to play Predator Hunting Grounds. This guy got me all into it. We bought the game. If you listen to the podcast, you've already heard it. And it was disappointing to say the least. So let me fill you guys in on some back, some history of the podcast. Every time we start the podcast, we do a rundown. And every time we start the rundown, we say, hey, let's not go <laughs> into you're it. Right. <laughs> you're right. Okay. We say, no, no, let me finish. We say, hey, we're not going to go into the thing yet. We're just going to go through the rundown real quick. Every time he goes into each topic. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be honest. I'm very sleep deprived right now. I've had three days of little to no sleep. So he just came off a shift. Well, yeah. Yeah. So you're totally right. I was totally ready to just go into predator hunting grounds. I know. Like I was sitting there thinking like, how long are we going to talk about predator hunting grounds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about that. And we're talking about Killer Clowns. There's just a little video we're going to watch. Uh, we're going to go over the patch notes, the TCM patch notes that drop. And of course, we're going to talk about the mill map. But not only are we going to talk about the mill map, we are going to go into the most detail you've seen yet with the mill map. Yeah. We're talking about come-ups, exits, locations. You said <laughs> come-ups. I call them the basement escapes. Yeah, that's a good so we're gonna go to The basement escapes. We're going to go to all the escapes on the map. We're going to go over the well drops and the major locations on the map that you guys need to know. And we're going to follow that up with Virginia, our new victim character, who I'm going to just say it. She's a little bit overpowered. It's pretty powerful, her ability. Yeah, Very powerful. Not just her ability, but as a character, she's pretty powerful. And we'll talk about her skills, her unique skills and her ability, how it works. We even did some testing. Yeah. How long does the cloud last? How long, how long does the stun last? All that stuff. We got you covered. We got you covered. Uh, we're going to follow that up with last but not least the issues with the update. Yeah. What did they miss with this update? I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> not only what did they miss because we had a lot of theories and oh. yeah, we missed, they, we missed. All right. We <laughs> missed a swing and a miss. <laughs> I mean, all I know is they're in a sawmill. There has to be active saws somewhere. Okay. My theory on this is that these are ropes that you can only descend down and, uh, but not only that, there's some issues that came with this update that is worse than any I've seen yet. But on a positive note, we had some member games. Dude, I'm almost it. dead. I'm almost Don't dead. I'm not going to do it. Kill them. Oh, Kill them. they've turned on us. Uh, no. <laughs> Kill them. Dude, how fun was that, right? Yeah, so we had, for, okay, first of all, if you're a member of ours, join the Discord because I got a bunch of people that are members and they say they want to play but they're not in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, you're probably not going to play with us. You need to bring it down a little. I feel like you're yelling at him. You're right. He's mad. He wants to play with you. <laughs> I'm having trouble just controlling anything like emotions, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thought processes. Uh, no, for real, though, that's how we start games with members. We In Discord, we say, hey, you want to play? And then we all get together and play. Yeah, it's a casual thing. So shout out to Maverick and, uh, and Comics, also known as... Squidward. Squid. Squid. <laughs> Squid. <laughs> no, we had a great time playing with it. It was a lot of fun. Oh, dude, seriously. It was a blast. So if you guys are a member, do that. If you're not a member, check this out. If you want more gameplay, behind the scenes videos, and even have your gameplay clips featured on the Friday Night Gaming Podcast and much more, become a member today. And we're back. Boom. <laughs> it's like we never left. Um, where were we even talking about? We may have mentioned it in the intro there. Predator Hunting Grounds? Yeah, so here's some history I have with this game is after F13 dropped, I loved F13. I got a bunch of friends to buy, probably like 10 people, right? Uh, you were pioneering the way. Yeah, I really brought everyone into the game. Well, then I heard about Predator Hunting Grounds. We love Predator. Great movie. And I thought, Classic. hey, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> I just watched it again the other day. <laughs> And so I told my friends, I'm like, hey, Predator's coming out. We all got to buy it. 
Well, a lot of us bought it, and dude, that game was underwhelming. I only played it for the first month or so it came out, but dude, it was just not good. You know what's funny? I actually went back and watched some gameplay because I, you know, it's like what you remember and how it played. As the Predator, it wasn't so bad. I think it was more as the soldiers. Well, but it was glitchy. It was really glitchy. Yeah. Even as Predator, sometimes things won't work. You get bugged out and that type of thing. So it was a disappointment, in my opinion. Never did I ever think there'd be more work put into this game. No, but the IP is so great. Everyone wants to play Predator, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So what has happened is Ilphonic has taken over as the publisher. I think they were involved before, but now they're taking over the publishing and they're going to do some more work to make this game better. Well, I was going to say great again, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it was never great though. So yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, didn't, didn't work. <laughs> okay, so let's watch the trailer for Predator Hunting Grounds. The hunt begins. A new beginning. Again. I don't love that they use like cinem cinematography here. You know what I mean? Like. I would like to see gameplay, but... Well, but they're not showing it. They haven't done anything yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I okay, do love I that mean, music. I love the music. I love the Predator. Apex Predator. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. So we're going to read over a little bit about what is coming. So we're going to make this quick, but basically what you can expect with Predator Hunting Grounds. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully they do a good job. And like, I mean, it's... Uh, I haven't. I didn't even know it was still a game. I honestly thought the game was dead. I thought they just gave up on it. But no, it's gonna it's gonna come back and better. They know the ASIM. ASIM's popping. ASIM is popping. Lots of good things coming up, dude. So exciting. Uh, okay, so March twenty eighth, twenty twenty four, the jungle is alive once again. Predator Hunting Grounds will release new content in 2024, 2025 with the game's original creator and ASIM multiplayer expert Ilphonic as the new publisher. So that's kind of confusing. So it was the original creator, but it wasn't the publisher. I guess not. So I'm just going to jump ahead to uh, what's coming in the upcoming months. Okay. So they're saying there's a bunch of DLC. They're going to drop stuff like that. But each month they have a category. So April 2024, patch 2.49 will cover the current release uh, released PS4 and PC Steam slash Epic Predator Hunting Grounds. The focus is on player movement, fire team weapons, rework and balance predator weapons balance and ui playability improvements all things that i would say need a ton of work yeah just for me the first thing i noticed when i played the game i felt like i was stuck in mud it, i didn't feel like uh it was responsive you know it's almost like a lag when you would move your character yeah there's it was just off so late 2024 release now you may have noticed we didn't say xbox oh here it comes xbox Series x s ps5 release Predator is, wait, was it not on PS5? Oh, it's not even on PS5? No, it was an old gen. Oh, that's right. Okay. Predator is coming to Xbox. This release is focused on next gen. Oh, running on Unreal 4.27. I don't know what Unreal engine we're on right now. Isn't there a five? I have no idea. Let's be honest. Predator's not ready for five. Let's start. <laughs> yeah. Let's start here. So they're basically releasing on more consoles. That's, they're just saying that. So really that, that first April is where we need to see huge improvements. Then they're going to be releasing on next-gen stuff. Yeah, it's totally true. If that April doesn't work well, then it really doesn't matter. <laughs> yep. And you know what you're going to get around Christmas time? What? New Predators. <laughs> and next year, you know what you're going to get? What? More New Predators. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much what you got. Uh, I'm excited. You know what? Honestly, we may dip back in. Oh, dude, I love Predator. I love the movie. And just like with Friday 13th and Killer Clowns, if you like the IP and the game's at least playable, you'll want to play it. I'm getting stressed out. We have TCM, we got Killer Clowns coming, and now I'm going to have to throw Predator in the mix. Lots of content coming your way. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. Hit that button. And speaking of Killer Clowns, we have a little clip for you guys. Now, if you watched our other Killer Clown videos, we caught this early on that there's potions. <laughs> or like drinks. Potions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can drink for speed boosts and different things in Killer Clowns. We don't know all the details, but... They finally gave us a little sneak peek, and we're going to watch it with you. I got to say, I just love the way this game looks. Even though it's not like breaking ground on graphics, it just looks fun. Well, it's the color palette. Like, it's like bright and like, yeah, it's just bright, like almost neonish. I don't know if that's the right term. The but yeah, the colors with the sound effects, and it just, 
it just looks fun and it looks kind of funny even yeah so so i mean really what you said before is we knew there were these power-up drinks we just hadn't really seen a clear where where are they found we think they're found in the coolers they are on the map in the coolers i'm sure unconfirmed i'm i'm (laughs) confirming you know what's cool too? The mini map. Have we? I didn't even think about a mini map on the game. Yeah, victims have mini maps. Clowns don't because clowns can teleport on the map. Okay. Well, cool video. We're excited, and uh, you know what? You get a good, clear view of that weapon with the f- uh, five charges. It looks like. Oh yeah, that's I believe called an axe. I, I my eyes are terrible. I can't see from here. <laughs> All right, it's time for what you guys all have been waiting for. That's a fake out because we're talking about <laughs> patch notes. Now their patch notes are important, but it's not the mill or Virginia. Yeah. So we're going to go over some patch notes because they patched some things. And I have a feeling we're going to see more patch notes soon because there, as you guys know, when they patch things and then they release an update, things break again. There's stuff to be fixed for sure. And I don't know that we're going to go over every single one of them, but what's important, right? Yeah. So Julie had a proximity aura that was, was messed up. So they, they tuned it back with other victims. So I think she was getting too much proximity on the family or something like that. So they just fixed it up. Boom. Good job. Nancy's wait a second perk. Now this is actually a big deal because our girl, Nancy, I feel like has been nerfed a little bit into the ground. Agreed. Yeah. Because oh, let's be honest. When she had poison claws, she was a force. Yeah. No, no one really runs her anymore. Well, and she's a slow character. So what do you get out of playing her? If you nerf her so much. Yeah. And her, her, her ability her traps you know between the gaps people are aware of those now like it's i feel like it's hard to even get people oh. to trap well i know when i play against nancy on a map the first thing in my mind is like okay don't hit gaps yeah exactly and there yeah you can avoid them you don't have to hit gaps no now do you hit them on accident when you panic yes you do so the wait a second perk so victims who were snared by nancy's barbed wire now wait uh five or three five to eight six seconds so that's the tears on it before it's being able to remove so that is a dramatic dramatic <laughs> that's a big difference okay that's a new word <laughs> <laughs> that's a new word i kind of like it dramatic <laughs> so it went from this previously it was 10 15 20 seconds Dude, so they nerfed her like crazy. Right. So the it's it's crazy. That's so basically when you get the when you go through them, you're gonna get them off quicker. Yeah, and you know what though? 20 seconds is too long to have a trap stuck on I your did, leg. I did think it was quite a while, but that's I mean, they basically cut it in half. So this one's a big one. The family members getting soft locked by the Leland barge. That's been patched out, and that's good because that's kind of game breaking. So I don't even I don't even know if that happened every single match, but it seemed like it happened a few times with us. Well, you know what's funny? It happened when we played our custom games with our members. Defenses is crazy. Oh, <laughs> going on? You can't hit. Slaughterhouse. I can't swing, dude. I can't swing. What oh, the heck? Well, what if I hit you? Well, technically yeah, Nancy's house has. No, it happened again when Leland barges. They they get locked up, and I think because the custom games are probably on a different build than the you know the live game. I that happened in the game. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even know that. Yep. Okay, another big one. Choose fight. They fixed an issue where choose fight at level three was not adding five seconds of stun duration at the end of close encounters. So choose fight does it for, I think, the backstabs and close encounters. So it was only getting half. You weren't getting it for the close encounters. That's great to know. I had no idea. (laughs) It's great to know. Also, I know some of you aren't going to be happy because especially, well, the family mains aren't going to be happy about that. Because right now with Virginia and her boon ability... Leland Barge in the Close Encounters. It's tough out there. It's tough out there. It's yeah. tough. <laughs> Twinkle Toes is the one. It sounds interesting. So you can run through uh, Bone Charms. And I think it's like at max is like a 70%. That's off my top of my head, I think. 70% that you won't make a noise. Chance. It's a yeah, 70% probability you won't make a noise. But you don't make noise with the Nuggets. Okay. For sure. So that's actually a really good perk because you can run around pretty quick. I mean, pair that with uh, Overlooked where you can run through... The grandpa yells, you can be moving pretty quick. I initially thought this perk was stupid, but dude, I get caught by nuggets all the time. Oh, dude, all the time. So it's awesome they fixed that one. So Nancy's house, we've all been stuck in the well or in ground. Or I think it's the well. It's usually you drop through the well and you get stuck. I've been stuck, I yeah. feel like it, it's happened. They patched it. Well, it was happening again. They patched it again. So maybe it's fixed. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Cook's Padlocks. If you didn't know, there was an issue where the unlock mini game when you it's when you try to unlock one of his locks. So he, let's say he's got his red padlock and the normal lock on the door, right? So when you unlocked his padlock, it incorrectly removed the main lock instead of the cook padlock. See, that happened to me when I used Connie and I used my ability 
and then it popped the lock underneath and i'm like what the f man <laughs> yeah yeah I, I, it happened to me too i didn't understand what was going on though so they fixed that now okay this one they fixed the leatherface's spawn point did you know at some time he would spawn outside of the basement i've never heard or seen that yeah either have i so that's fixed which is great <laughs> i didn't I, that's kind of funny i I would have no liked idea. to see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Those are pretty much the main points of the patch notes. I'm over talking about the patch notes. If you guys want to read it through, it's on gun site, but we trust me. We hit the ones that are important. Now let's get on to the mill. All right. So the mill map just dropped. We just had our first gameplay today. In fact, we actually spent two hours in a custom lobby learning the mill map. Oh, yep. All right. So what's, okay. so what is your first impressions? Well, let I, me do, I, I burped. <laughs> All right, Darren. No. What are your first impressions? It is a big map and with a variety of places you can go. And you know, honestly, another thing too is the shrubbery that you hide in. It feels like it's higher. I don't even know if that's true. I feel like there's a lot of spots you can hide just in the bushes. Yeah, um, I, I do agree. It does feel really big. I like the map. Like, I think the map is really unique. Overall, I feel like it's a victim map. And I, again, we've only played a handful of games and we'll explain why in the problem section. <laughs> <laughs> but it does feel like it's a victim map. Yeah, because it's so big and you can imagine running from one side to the other as a killer, it takes a lot of time. It's like, dude, there's so many levels to this thing. There's like a canal down low. There's the all the levels in the mill. There's multiple buildings. There's multiple like shed buildings. Yeah. There's uh, there's even other little areas with slip gaps that you can navigate through. It's, I don't even know what you wouldn't call it because I don't even know what it is. But there's all that. And then even the generator and the fuse box areas are just large. Like yeah. there's a lot. Yeah, there's buildings within those areas, especially on the battery side. Yeah, it's like you're used to it's I think this is the first map where, at least in my opinion, where it's like the generator is almost like not the generator, like the battery is almost like its own map. Yeah, it feels like that it's way. It's so large. Like normally the doors are right next to each other and you can kind of watch them easily. This is going to take a little more uh, creativity. If you're not coordinating as a family, I mean, this works on a lot of maps, but I think especially this map, if you're not coordinating, and you guys are teaming up on one side of the map, it's going to be open season on the other side. Yeah. To go see the car battery is a journey. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you're not even going to know what's going on over there. Yeah, it's true. It's far, dude. And you know what else I like about it is even the mill itself, like, you can get to, like, the second level of the mill. There's a couple staircases on both sides of the mill. So you don't have to go just through the front door. You can go through these other staircases. You know what? I think it's time we just break down the map. Let's go. We're going to start off with the major locations, all right? Now, we may miss a couple things, but we're not hitting everything. We're hitting the major spots that kind of you need to know about. So, obviously, you start in the basement, and then there's the mill. Now, the mill, three stories. Top level, you can jump out. I think the second level, you can jump out. And there's even a well up there we'll talk about in a little bit. Yeah, you have two windows that I've seen. Maybe there's a third. The mill also, I believe on the second level has a staircase or a door that you can go to an exterior staircase and drop down. So, and by the way, there's no ropes. The weird thing with these, one, they don't exactly look like tape. And I think these are ropes. Machine storage. Across from the mill is the machine storage shop. Right. Now that's, that's a spot where you're going to be navigating through. Again, that one, again, has a bottom level and a second story that connects to the mill on a walkway. And you can actually get to that uh, second story of that building by taking a ladder from outside too. There's the lower dam area, or we kind of call it the canal area. Again, there's another exit or uh, from the basement that comes up through there. And it's kind of a sneaky way to get around. There's the overgrown area, which is behind the machine storage area. And you need to know that area because there's several spots you can come up in that vicinity. Right. And then of course we have the generator and the battery opposite sides. There's a lot to both those areas, uh, but basically they both have two gates to access. On the generator side, they're closer together. They're not as spread out, but over on the battery side, it gets weird because there's the main gate on the bridge and then you go by the silos and there's the second gate. Now the second gate, when you go down that, you have three options. Yeah. You can go under the bridge and wrap around to the battery. You can go to the right, same kind of thing. You know, you can go up a hill and get access to the battery area, or you can climb a ladder to the bridge to access the battery. And uh, you might wonder, hey, you guys said you might be able to fall down off the bridge. And that looks like there's some boxes down there. So maybe you can fall through. You can't. 
<laughs> you can't, but you can climb down. That's I would say that's like half a point. I think we're kind of right. I mean, did we miss something? Or I didn't see another exit. Oh, dude, there. I don't think there is. <laughs> yeah, we need a new exit. We don't ask for a lot. That's you all. know, we love your game. I mean, we kind of ask for a lot, but yeah, sometimes we do. <laughs> but fortunately, I don't see another exit. But there are the normal exits, which we'll get into. But first, let's talk about getting out of the basement because you're not going to get to an exit if you don't get out of the basement. And let's say this first, the basement's big, dude. I actually don't think it's as hard to learn as like the family house or gas station even because it's more wide open, I feel like. It, I did notice that what I like about this map is it is open and it feels like the ceilings are higher, you yeah. know? You're not like confined. This basement has, it feels like more unique areas that once you get used to the flow, you'll have it down probably faster than other maps. We're gonna just go over all the ways to get out of the basement. And again, Darren's gonna show you guys. So we have Leatherface's lair leads to the mill stairwell. That's the bottom floor of the mill. The sewer exit goes to the lower dam. That's the lower dam canal area. Cold room goes to machine storage. Again, that building out in front of the mill. And you take that ladder up, right? I believe so. Dig room goes to overgrown, which is by the gen side. And then gore room goes to overgrown exterior. Why we said overgrown was so important is that we have two come up spots or you call them basement exits we have two basement exits right next to each other and then right in front of those is that machine storage uh come up spot yeah there's basically like three yeah it's basically three exits that are right on top of each other yeah and if you were counting that's five spots you can get out of the basement from yeah so if you're a leatherface main you might not want to stick around in the basement too long yeah, I'll tell you what, especially not knowing the basement well, when I was, we were messing around playing Leatherface, I wouldn't stay there. I mean, I would try to get a quick kill. If not, I'm out. All right, so you get out of the basement. You're searching for these exits. All of a sudden, you see Johnny shirtless, <laughs> sun, sun beating down on him with sweat glistening off his chest. <laughs> he looks you in the eyes. He you looks, feel like for once someone understands you. <laughs> but then you realize he has hate in his heart and he's coming. <laughs> and you realize you got to get out of there quick. Now, you want to hit the well? We got five spots for you. <laughs> All right. So the first wall we're going to talk about is the mezzanine. That is on the third story of the mill. So it sounds weird, but yes, there is a well at the top of the mill, which I did not see coming. You drop down that well and it actually drops you in the basement. No, no, not the basement. It drops you on the first floor. Next wall we're going to talk about, there's two exterior wells. One's on the generator side and one's on the battery side. So the generator side, when you go through that, that's going to drop you in the tunnels. And you're saying before you actually go through the gates, right? These two wells are before you enter the gates. The well that's towards the gas station side of the map, again, within the gates before you get to gas station, that one drops you into the dig room. Other two wells, you have one in battery. Now that one's called Ghost Town, which I like the name. If you go in the gas station side well, that's gonna drop you into the pump room. And on the generator side, again, this is once you're in the gate, that's gonna drop you into the employee room, which is from the trailer where the skeleton's laying on the couch. You made it out of the basement. You escaped Johnny's wrath. Now it's time for you to find an exit. So this one, again, we kind of touched on it. The battery exit on one side, generator on the other. Actually, battery and generator, they're classic. It's the same everywhere. You kick a gin, you open a gate. Yeah. They're on opposite sides of the map. The fuse escape. Now we've noticed the fuse boxes tend to be in the same spot or similar area. They're on gen side and they're in shacks. The only time we've seen it, the two spots, they're on shacks that are across from each other. I think we've, maybe there's three spots, but they're all right, right by each other. Now, something important with the fuse escape that's, I mean, I just find it interesting. There is a dedicated room for the fuse and I didn't see anything else in there. No, and it's almost like once you get in there, you're kind of stuck if someone's chasing you. <laughs> so if the door shuts on you, you're in trouble. Okay, so the best way that I've seen to get to this room, like I try to always find the path that's the easiest for me to remember. <laughs> the mill staircase, the, the only one that leads you out of the mill straight in you go down that staircase follow it all the way down and i believe you go out so go through the blue door and you take out your first left you like take a left and the first left you can will lead you into that office room with the skeleton on the couch right there's a slip spot that'll go straight into the fuse exit uh pressure tank where have you seen the pressure tanks i've seen the pressure tank by the uh overgrown area right right 
I've seen it there, and then we've also seen it. So we've seen it also by the generator side. I feel like most of the objectives seem to be like towards the front. Uh, so if the mill, like the front of the mill behind that machine storage area, kind of like all along all that grassy area. Well, the and over, then overgrown area, right? Overgrown and circling around a little bit. Like it's kind of like an L shape. Once you get the pressure tank off, it's it's a pretty straight shot. I mean, I think it'd be kind of easy to get to. You're right, though. I think what they're doing is they put the pressure tank basically on the opposite side of the exit. Which makes sense. Yeah. So, unfortunately, those are all the exits. Maybe they'll surprise us and give us another one. We can hope. All right. Now it's time to talk about Virginia. All right. So, we're going to give you the most detailed breakdown of Virginia that you've seen yet. We're going to go over her base stats, perks, special perks, boon ability, everything. And like we said, we tested a lot of things. So, we'll have stuff that maybe you don't see anywhere else. Do you think she's top tier? I think she is the top tier. I mean, that boon ability is pretty powerful in the different ways you can use it. And we'll, we'll talk about it because there's a lot of ways you can use it. And a lot of it is kind of how you build her too. So let's start off with her base stats. So at base, toughness is a 30, endurance is a 35, strength is 15, proficiency 30, and stealth is, what is that, 18? Actually, she's kind of high in all the things I care about. Exactly, right? So she, the highest in toughness, endurance, and proficiency. And when you put skill points in, it's almost easy to get those all to like 40. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, so she is a powerful base character. All right, so let's start off about talking about her base perks and then we'll get into her specific perks. I just want to highlight a couple things. She has efficient locksmiths, which is just cool. That is what it is. Fast hands. Oh, fast hands, one of my favorite perks. Fast hands, like that is a powerful perk. And she has extra drip. Oh, another great one. <laughs> I mean, she's got a proficiency perks. She has second wind. She's got a bunch of really good perks. She basically has a lot of my favorite base perks. Right. Yeah. So not only is her base powerful, she's got a ton of perks. And don't worry, I will be doing a skill tree once the skill tree is fixed. Now let's get into the special perks that you can add. So again, this is all unlocked through the skill tree. At this point, some of these can't be unlocked. The first one we're talking about is noise pollution. So Virginia's powder cloud highlights family members who enter for up to 10 seconds so that's more of like giving your teammates an idea of where they are yeah i'm not so interested in that one yeah that's more of like a good teammate which you're not so i understand I'm why terrible. you're not interested yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's the hands-off perk so picking up powder prevents anyone else from picking up further powders including virginia for 90 seconds yeah that doesn't sound that great to me no. All right, now we have blotter. Blotter tainted blood buckets also highlight any family member who comes near them within a range of five, seven, so I think it's up to nine meters. That's actually not bad. So if a family member gets near a tainted blood bucket, not only are you gonna poison, they're poisoned, but also you're gonna get them marked on the map. I mean, that's pretty good. Now, the only, we'll get into it. The duration of how long that that blood bucket's tainted might sway you from not using this. Yes, and you will find out soon. Trace chemicals. Powder collection points within 10 meters are highlighted to you. So basically, easy way to find powder. I mean, again, some of these are like beginner, like probably nice if you're a beginner to find these locations. And then as you get better and know the map, you don't have to use them. Protective aura. When above 80% health victims within six meters take 20% less damage. That'd be good for us for running a team, you know? Dude, and you're going to take 20% less damage. Dude, that's pretty powerful. Did you? I mean, Virginia and Leland combo? Uh, that's a great pair. And I think we're going to run it. <laughs> Dude, that, that's a pretty powerful perk. Okay, last of the perks, and I got to say, I think it might be one of the most powerful here, coagulant. So Virginia's powder cloud drains 50% of the blood being carried by any family member who enters it. Especially now, it seems like the blood runners are heavy. Like people are really leveling up grandpa, and then with hitch trapping, you know how that goes. If you just want to slow down a team of blood runners and you you throw your cloud out, they're not even going to realize that they're going to lose a bunch of their blood. They're kind of battling the blood build, the fast leveling up of Grandpa. Virginia's kind of a kind of a must to slow that down. So you run a lot with Leatherface. Isn't there one of the perks that's pretty important where you have to have a full blood vial? That's a really good point. Yes, violent. People that are running those blood, uh, blood builds where if you have a full blood vial, you get extra whatever stamina for your, for Leatherface at Savagery or extra damage. Yeah, with that, it's going to drop that down. They might not even notice. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great little uh, perk there. So now we're going to get into Virginia's specific ability. So the ability tree, not the skill tree, the ability tree. So there's lots of options. We just condensed it down here for you. So you can increase the duration of the blood buckets. So how long that uh, lasts the poison in the blood buckets. Okay. You can go from five seconds to 10 seconds. 
additional to the base level of blood bucket. Uh, you can contaminate more buckets. I think you can do four with boon. Like that'll take up your whole, if your boon's maxed out, that'll take it all out. Now you can go to five. Uh, you can increase the powder cloud duration by five extra seconds. You can lower your cooldown by 20%. Now the problem with this, I'm going to be honest. I didn't think I had a cooldown. Yeah. We looked through it. I don't know what you're cooling down. Yeah. When I played, it seemed like you could almost throw your, do your boon back to back. Yeah, they, they, there wasn't a cooldown when we were testing it. Unless they're talking about like poisoning, you can double poison a bucket. I don't think that's a thing, but I don't know. Let us know if we're wrong. Now the top tier in her uh, boon ability. So you can have a cloud that consumes the family member's stamina and it says it kind of vaguely. That's how it says it. So I don't know if they walk through and lose all their stamina or lose half their stamina or what, but... Dude, that's pretty powerful because imagine if someone's trying to kill you, they walk through it. Not only, not only are they blinded now, when they're unblinded, they have no stamina to hit you. That's powerful, but I think these next two are the way to go. When Virginia throws her powder cloud, if a victim walks into it, they will heal three points per second. Oh, that's pretty good. So Virginia can heal the entire victim squad. Yeah, if you guys roll together, just drop a cloud and everyone can heal. Dude, that, that to me is huge. Now, this next one is the one I would probably lean towards just because it's powerful. If you throw your cloud and the family member walks into it, they lose all their blood. The way you could use it is like if you see them gathering blood, you could throw a cloud out and have them chase you through it if they're going to grandpa or something, they lose all their blood. Yeah, but to me, more. I'd rather have the uh, healing teammates for sure. Eh, it depends on how you play. I, I don't know. I, I bet you you'll see more people run the reducing blood vial to zero like i mean if you're playing with a team though i do think yeah the healing is pretty huge too so because you can almost do this blood vial the reducing it down instead of getting at the top of the ability tree you can use that coagulant and that'll drop it down 50 percent anyways that way you could heal your teammates and you can get them to drop their that's blood. a good point good bill we just meta. found the meta, meta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't say this but the so we were we didn't know what the blinding was going to look like but it's pretty much a hard blue blur it's hard to see through it you're not seeing much you know that's another thing too with leather face like where so when you get hit by the the cloud when you're leather face you can't see a rev at all now it's time to get into some details does virginia's boon automatically regenerate no no, it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> you have to go you use the sissy's poison stations it's the same thing and when you get it, you'll get two charges for the, you'll get two of the throwing charges. It fills up your meter, but you can poison blood bucket. You can poison four blood buckets. Or if you use some, if you tune her ability tree, right, you can get five. Now we need to talk about how far you can throw it because I was thinking you could get some distance. You're not going to be throwing it too far. Well, she does have low strength, so it does make sense. I wonder if you improve her strength if it helps with the throwing distance. <laughs> That's actually a good point. I doubt it, but that's interesting. More importantly, the duration. So we timed this out. You get 15 seconds off the base level with the cloud. Okay, so we know 15 seconds, you throw it, that's how long it lasts. But you need to know how long it's going to last when you poison a blood bucket, and you're going to need to know how long it stuns the family member. And for that... Thanks, Dan. I found that blood buckets stay poisoned for one minute. Also, when a family member gathers blood from a poison bucket, they will go blind for five seconds. And once a family member walks into the poison cloud, they will be blinded for seven seconds. Oh, and just so you know, when you start a match, your boon is empty. So you'll have to head to one of the powder stations to fill up. All right, that's it for me. Back to you, Dan. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, that's Virginia. Let's talk about the update itself and some of the major issues. Right off the bat, we got to talk about it. It's the major issue with TCM, and it has been from the start. It's the lobbies, because they are atrocious. Dude, when we talked about it before, I didn't think it was going to be that bad, but it was worse than I thought. Dude, just to be like totally real, we had several lobbies where we timed out in the waiting screen, like the loading lobby. You know how it gives you what? How long is it? Three minutes? Oh, yeah, whatever. Three to five. I forget what it is when you're just where it loads you in. You know, you hear that dun -dun sound. <laughs> and then you go into the lobby. We never got into a lobby. Yeah, we just, just timed, timed us out. and kicked us out. Oh, dude. It's like, we don't have time. I don't have time to do this. Oh, great. Yeah. And that happened over and over again. Then once. Wait, by the way, it was also when we were running quick match. Yeah. Quick match didn't help us at all. That was one. And then even when we got into lobbies, everybody was lobby dodging. 
Because, I mean, I don't even blame people. You want to play the mill map? I don't even think people were dodging as much for Virginia. I think it was more just to play the mill. 100% they should have made either just either just give us a few days of, like, of just the mill map or like a different playlist or something. But I mean, it's a problem. Initially, I think last time we talked about, I fought the idea of just having a solo mill map, like just scrap all the other levels and just play mill. But now I'm totally like, anytime they release a new map, they need to do that because the lobby dodging is out of control. Well, and you got to realize if you want to play the mill, dude, legit, you could be waiting like an hour to play this map. Well, we did it. We're in a hurry. We got to do a bunch of stuff today. We want to get some gameplay of the mill and learn it. You can't do it, dude. It took, it literally took us like an hour to get a game. Yeah. Cause I mean, you'll go, I mean, especially, I mean, honestly, if you don't dodge a lobby, it could be longer. Dude. And what bothers me is like, we know there's a bunch of new players and people are coming back to the game. There's a new map. There's a new victim. And it's like. They're going to not want to play the game if they have to wait that long. Yeah, it's it's bad. I mean, it's really bad. So, like, I don't even... It's like, fix this problem, please. And part of it is the way that they launch this. And, I mean, honestly, you release one victim and a new map. Now, let's say there's no new map. You release a new victim, you're going to get people dodging just to play the victim alone. Right. So now you got it comp compounded because you have the new map. So if you're on... Even if you get the vi the victim, nobody wants to play Family House right now. No. So you're going to have a hard time even loading that lobby. So it's just it, it's just crazy. We were even having people dodge on the mill map. So I don't even know what that was about. That was just weird. Yeah. I don't know. So it's just like a huge problem. I mean, I think simply they need to start penalizing. They have to. They got to do something. It's it's broken right now. And it we're dedicated to this game. We're going to play it no matter what. But there's a lot of people who aren't. And you're going to run off the new players. If you can't, I mean, the frustration is real. Yeah. I don't usually get too frustrated playing the game. I let stuff go. It's not a big deal. This is a, a problem. And this is one of two problems that should not be happening. Two problems? Virginia's skill tree being broken is not okay. To release a new character you have to pay for, and her skill tree is bugged. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you try to use her skill tree... There are mo there's only one path you can use. The other paths are like bugged perks. You're, you can't even go the route. It blocks you. Yeah, I think it's clear they weren't ready to release her. I don't know. They didn't. You didn't have to, man. You could have just released the mill map. Well, like Squid said, shout out to our member Squid. Uh, AKA Comics. Yeah. Like he said, they should have just released the map. If they weren't ready, if they didn't have the killer and the victim ready, which obviously they didn't have the killer ready, they should have just scrapped that for now and just released the mill map. I still would have been really excited to play. Oh, dude, 100%. But releasing a paid character that it's like, how do you not catch that her skill tree is bugged? I don't understand how you, do, you don't catch that. I don't know. So, I mean, I think sometimes things happen in development where you, I don't think they thought it wouldn't be bugged. Or sorry, I don't think they thought it would be bugged. It just probably just happened. Just like yeah. a lot of other things happened. <laughs> like I can, like I said, I, I'm not trying to be too negative because I do love this game and everything, but man, those two together made a very painful experience today. Well, and it's tough too when there hasn't been a lot of content released and it's like, we're all excited for the content and it's like, dude, we can't even get in a match. And then when we do, there's little issues and it's just kind of a bummer. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I did still have fun though. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. What we're going to do what we did is load into custom lobbies and we'll probably, if we ever stream this on a day with a update drops, we're, we're not playing public lobbies. No, you gotta go custom. We're doing our own. So join up, become a member. <laughs> Cause I want to play with like, I want to have a bunch of people playing. That'd be a blast. Oh, well, we played with just four and it was fun because guess what? You get rid of the lobby issue and this game's great. I know. Right. <laughs> so it's like, man, if we have to do, I guess we just have to do it ourselves. Yeah. I don't know, man, because this uh, it doesn't seem like they're fixing some of these. I mean, this will fix over time anyways as people get used to the map. But, man, it's such a fun map, too. Like, we want to learn it. Yeah, so and, and another issue is Danny apparently can't tamper things. Yeah, so I think it was uh, the Slash and Cast boys over there. Yeah. Shout out, Slash and Cast. <laughs> Shout out. So apparently they were using Danny, and I think from what we understood, they couldn't tamper the um, pressure tank. Yeah, and I saw it happen to them, and then I went to Reddit, and everyone's talking about it there as well. I don't know if he can tamper anything. I'm, no, I think they, I think I did see him tamper something, but something's wrong with his tamper ability, clearly. Yeah, so again, there's, there's multiple little bugs that have uh, sprung up from this update. I got a weird one. 
Sissy was chasing me and I was getting Nancy voice lines. Like, I love how you have different ways to get up into the mill. Oh, I got Nancy. What? I'm getting Nan Nancy voice lines on Sissy. Uh, dude, I'm also like really tired. So maybe I was just sleep deprived <laughs> and like hearing the wrong. I don't know. I don't even know. So anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the update stuff. Overall, the map looks great. It's really interesting and I'm looking forward to playing more, but please fix the lobbies, man. And the Virginia tree needs to be done by like tomorrow. Yeah, that needs to be a quick, well, there's a couple quick fixes that need to happen, but yeah, I agree. I think the map looks great. I think Virginia is an awesome character to have. It's going to be very interesting to see how people end up playing her and when they level her up. Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't gone on Reddit, but I know people are up in arms over her because she is extremely powerful. Yeah. And I mean, I can't argue that it does seem to be even shifting a little more victim sided right now. Yeah, but there's going to be a new killer and that's going to change things up. Right. But there's a there's a little bit of a gap. And I mean, let's face it, they nerfed Nancy even more and they're giving them hey, the victims get even more powerful character. Victims get a character that can throw some bag of powder. <laughs> Killers should get a guy with a gun. I <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine just walking around, just taking people out <laughs> when one shopping? <laughs> That's an option. All right. Oh. All right. Our last topic here. We're going to talk a little bit about gameplay because we had some really funny things and some betrayal as usual. <laughs> I wouldn't call it betrayal. I just can't listen when I play the stupid game. Dude, here's the weird thing with this guy right there. Hi. That one. <laughs> we'll talk in the game and he'll ask me questions and I will answer them. So this is what happened. I went, this was on the mill map. Again, in a match, I wanted to get my escape. Just wanted it for my own pride, right? I get to the battery. Darren, I tell Darren, I'm going to the battery. I told him what gate I used to go to the battery. So I'm on car battery side now. He even clarified like, oh, I think you actually were like, oh, did you go gin or something? I'm like, no, I went battery. I went to this gate and I go, do you have a bone scrap? Because I know Hitch trapped it. He said, yeah, I have a bone scrap. I'm coming. That's all correct. Yes. Yeah. So what happens? I get over there. And I go to start working on the gate. Well, actually, I messed up because I, I went to unlock the gate. I ended up slamming and making noise. Now the truth comes out. Because somebody had already unlocked it. They got killed, but RIP. <laughs> Anyways, so then I'm like, okay, where are you at, man? I got to get this open because I made noise. and I need to get this bone scrap done or this trap disarmed. This dude is over on the generator side. So I'm popping that left door to battery. Oh no. Oh, you know what? I'm on gen side. Are you on battery? Yeah. I've told you that. Yeah. I totally went the wrong way. He's got a trap here. That's why I needed you over here. Oh, my bad. I might be able to get this off though. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Not all, so like, but you don't understand how much communication was going on with us talking back and forth. And it's like, none of it went through. Dude, there's something with my brain. When I play that game, I just break a little bit. And then, yeah. and then also there's a little bit of like, oh, I screwed up while I'm here. So I got to, you know, might as well get out. Right. <laughs> Moral of the story. I died. He escaped through generator. I mean, someone survived the family. I think that's a win for all of us because we're a team. No, I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would say yes in normal situation, but when you have a plan and you confirm the plan multiple times and then it comes out that you are not doing anything that you said you were doing. Yeah. It's weird. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's one of those things fool me once shame on you fool me twice i don't know how that goes <laughs> okay we got to talk about our other part so when we did our custom matches we had an impromptu duel so i stood at the gate as a as leatherface darren stood down the way as leland and let me say this first i had a barge so i thought did you know i had a barge no i didn't know you had a barge I thought you was going to be a simple try to juke me. You had a plan and you were trying to cheat the system. <laughs> and you guys want to know what happened? Scared out of you. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, this better be a clip on your podcast. Dude, I went to this stun better you. Be. I went to stun <laughs> you. Yeah, dude, I got screwed, man. I tried to hit that barge, but apparently you're... You're, you had a perfectly timed swing and took me down before I could even activate it. You know what? I think there's some vindication in that. I mean, that's a little bit of karma. I hit the button, though. I want to be clear. So it's more of a game issue than it is Looks me. Looks like you hit the floor, too. 
<laughs> Dropped to my And knees. then my chainsaw hits you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's what we got for you guys today. So uh, thank you guys all for listening. It's appreciated. Thank you to our members. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to Gun for making a game. Thank you to Gun for fixing all these issues we just talked about. Yes. Can't wait to see that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll catch you guys later. Leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. <laughs> see you guys. See ya. Oh, oh.